There are several reefs around South America, six of which are on the coast of Colombia. Reefs are very diverse ecosystems with many different species that are all interconnected in a complicated web. There are many species of sharks, one of which is a horn shark. Unlike other sharks, they are clumsy and slow. They sleep on the seabed at night and set out in search of mollusks and urchins during the day. Horn sharks also use their puckered lips to suck in small fish. The fact that they are slow would typically make them easy prey, but this isn't true. Hence their names, horn sharks. They have two spikes, one in front of each dorsal fin on their back. Any shark that wants to eat it will get a mouthful of spikes. One animal that might try to eat it is an angel shark. Angel sharks are flat and sort of lazy. Because of their brown color and flat bodies, they are excellent at burying themselves in the sand to the point where they are almost invisible. They lie in wait until an unsuspecting fish swims by, then they strike. These sharks have lightning fast reflexes. If any animal passed by one, they are as good as dead. They can leap out as fast as a lizard's tongue. They are very large, larger than humans, and will attack anything without a second thought. Another animal that the, that the angel shark might prey on is a slipper lobster. They look very similar to lobsters, and a flat, hard shell would deceive the average eye. The slipper lobster is actually not directly related to the average lobster. The key difference is that they have no pincers to grab things with. Instead, they have two antennae that they use to search for prey. Instead of pincers, they just use their mouths to grab. Another fish that may hunt the slipper lobster is a chimera. These fish look rather ridiculous because they have a nose. They don't have a bone in their body like sharks. Their entire skeletal structure is made out of cartilage. They can live at any depth and they adapt accordingly. The ones in shallow waters have a long nose they use to probe the ground in search of prey. They locate it with sensory organ marked by two dots in its head. A little lower down, their nose is smaller. They rely more on eyesight. At the seabed, it is even longer than the ones on the surface because it is too dark to use their eyes at all. Not even the chimera is safe though. The hammerhead is even better at tracking prey and will happily settle for any passing fish. The hammerhead also has a funny face. It looks as though it has, a, has been squashed by a giant rolling pin. Despite the peculiar look, the hammerhead's head is very important. Sharks have an organ in their head called the Empulier of Lorenzini, discovered by Stefano Lorenzini. It can sense electric currents emitted by animals. Since its head is more elongated, the organ is more spread out, giving it a larger range. This is why hammerheads are excellent at fighting hidden prey. In this complicated East ecosystem where everything seems to eat everything else, how would a measly sea snail be able to cope? Well, the cone shell is no measly sea snail. The cone shell has two tubes that stick out of the front of the shell, the siphon it uses to search for prey, and the proboscis has a nasty surprise. Hidden in the second, there is a venomous tooth that can shoot at its prey. It is still connected to the radula, and is fired by a powerful muscle contraction. The radula is found in mollusks and is a collection of small teeth it uses to eat. The tooth harpoon is loaded with a venom that will paralyze fish instantly. The venom is being investigated for it contains special compounds that may be useful for medicine. After the fish has been paralyzed, it tugs in its prey and sucks it in, bones, scales, and all. Reefs are a fascinating ecosystem with complex food webs and symbiosis, a place where animals adapt to their surroundings and find cool ways to hunt and protect themselves. There are thousands of animals, so many that it would take a hundred of these documentaries to cover. These are just a few interesting species in a much larger and more complicated ocean.